Hey everyone, welcome! Finally, new jailbreak has arrived and it's called Xena 15. So, this jailbreak supports iOS 15 to iOS 15.1.1 currently. Also, not all uh, devices are supported, so I'm just gonna talk about iPhones. It's, uh, it supports from iPhone 10R all uh, up until iPhone 13 Pro Max. So 10R, 10S, 10S Max, 11, 12, 13, 13 Pro Max, all those devices, which is great news. This is a rootless jailbreak, which means once you do it, it will not be able to, or not all tweaks will work. So I'm guessing we'll need some time for the tweaks to start working and functioning properly. Don't worry, yours truly will be testing the tweaks. And from time to time, I'm gonna be publishing videos about which tweaks have been newly updated to work with Xena 15 jailbreak. So now I'm gonna show you very, very briefly, very quickly, how the uh, how you can jailbreak your phones if you have these from iPhone XR until iPhone 13 Pro Max, and if you are on iOS 15 to 15.1.1. So as you can see, I have here iPhone XS, and iPhone XS is currently, luckily for me, 15.2.0.2. Uh, so we will try and jailbreak this, this iPhone. Now, the first thing you need is to go to altstore.io and download your version of altstore application if you want to do it through the uh, computer. So I'm using macOS, so this is for macOS. I'm going to download the app itself. Yes, so this is the step I'm, I'm downloading the uh, this. Then I'm going to move the alt server to my applications folder and you will see it's going to appear here. So I'm going to start it and then, of course, you need to click on open it. So it will open. I'm going to allow notifications and so it will appear here in this toolbar and I've selected that I launch it on, on uh, login. However, if you haven't, because I already tested this, you need to uh, install the mail plugin into your mail app uh, in order for this to work. So you will go to the mail app, you will go to your uh, uh, settings and then in the settings you will have to manage plugin and you need to enable this alt plugin mail bundle you will apply and restart your email afterwards so it's pretty straightforward and then after doing this you need to start your your uh, alt store again okay let me just click it real quick here right so as you can see, then it will appear this, this little thing. You will have to install Alt Store on your connected iPhone. But you can also enable, you can also do this if you go to Finder and you can also enable your, your iPhone to show this iPhone when on a Wi-Fi. So you can even do it wirelessly if you prefer this method. However, I prefer cable, so I'm gonna use the old school method here. So now I'm gonna go, okay, it's kind of buggy, doesn't work immediately, so I need to kind of start it here and then do this. I don't know why that is. So I'm gonna install it on my, on my iPhone. And here you need to enter your Apple ID and password for your uh, iCloud Apple ID on your iPhone that's currently there. So let me do that real quick. After this, you will click install. Now, it's gonna be installing in the background, so you will not be able to see it, but it, it should pop up. So it should be here somewhere on my, on my next screen. Okay, I already have another account, so that's why this is popping up. You shouldn't be getting this. Right, as you can see here, I have Outstore now installed on my, on my uh, iPhone. Now I'm gonna go here and you will get this, this message, untrusted developer. So what you need to do, setting, sorry, settings, general, then you will go to VPN and device management. So you will see your, your uh, uh, developer app here. You need to click trust and then trust again. And now we go back to Outstore so it can Right, so if you want to do some things wirelessly, you'll need to press OK on this. Uh, I'm allowing notifications. This is completely up to you, uh, uh, up to you. So this is this is it. Then you go into settings here, and you need to sign in with your Apple ID, which is again on your device. In so this is this is the screen we want to see. So click Got it, and this is my my account. 
and here you will have my apps now what you can do is you can install the uh, Xena jailbreak tool from your iPhone so this is the website where you can actually download it I'm, I'm putting it down uh, uh, in the description where you can find it so this is Xena 520 jailbreak and it's 37.7 megabytes so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click here download <coughs> And you will see that the download will begin shortly. Yes, I'll, I'll. here I'm having the downloads. Yeah, this is the one I already downloaded earlier, so just uh, I'm just doing this to show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna click this little arrow, and I'm gonna open it into the Alt Store. So it will take few seconds to, to reach here and then your Xena 15 jailbreak should be should be installed and you will be able to see it on your home screen yes that's it so there you go now uh, I had to restart my iPhone it didn't show immediately so this is normal I'm guessing for uh, for the first version of the jailbreak so you can expect some glitches so this is how it looks like it's, it's Xena A15 the uh, interface is not awesome, but it's it's functional. So what you do here, you go down there to the left corner and you see, you click on the open jailbreak, so it immediately starts doing its thing. And we should be jailbroken in a bit. Hopefully there will be no errors, so so let's see. And this, this jailbreak should pre-install Cilio, and uh, so there is no Cydia, only Cilio which is fine, you know, so as long as we have a working jailbreak. <clears throat> there you go, okay, linked, right. So it needs to restart. All right, there we go. So you can see it installed Celio Preboot and Troll Store, so which is kind of similar thing to Alt Store. I prefer Alt Store. So when you go to your Celio and you can see it's already working and there are two, two, uh, uh, Two repositories already installed by default big boss and procurses here are the packages what i suggest you do update all because uh, let's see confirm so there will be some upgrading and there you go the, the the new jailbreak is up and running now we will see which jailbreak tweaks will work uh, there I, i'm guessing there will be some time before all the all the jailbreakers and developers actually update their their tweaks and yes that's it you know stay tuned for some new videos about new jailbreaks new jailbreak tweaks and some other updates thank you very much